Rochester High School. At this time, let's meet the starters and non-starters for each team. First for the Manchester Lady Squires. The non-starters. Zero, Alexis Jarrett. Five, Kaylin Johnson. Seventeen, Gracie Miller. And twenty, Adriana Espadero. And now the starters. Wearing uh, number one, I'm sorry, wearing zero, no, number one, sorry, Sophia Evans. Number nine, Ella Peaton. Number 14, Hayden Lordy. Number 16, Lacey Trump. Number 18, Finley Espeset. Number 24, Marissa Stroud. And number 26, so Sophie Cumberland. Manchester is coached by Lisa Conley. And now for your Rochester Lady Zebras, the non starters. Number five, Quinn Gruss. Number 15, Emma Mathias. Number 18, Madeline Bylone. Number 25, Emma Murphy. And number 26, Jenna Seifer. And now your starters, a 5'7 sophomore, number two, Kyra Dorn. A 5'5 five, five sophomore, number four, Kayla McCarty. A 5'5 five, five sophomore, number nine, McKenna McKee. A 5'4 sophomore, number 11, Ryan Strasser. A 5'5 five, five freshman, number 13, Elise Idiot. A 5'6 freshman, number 19, Sylvia McCall. And a 5'8 freshman, number 21, Amara Waringa. Your coach for the Rochester Lady Zebras, Rebecca Bollinger. Manchester start this game with a serve. Serving for the Lady Squires, Sophia Evans. Serving for Rochester, number nine, McKim McKee.
Sophie Cumberland serving for Manchester. Back to serve for the Lady Seedlers, Amara Waringa. Squires. Serving for Rochester, Kyra Dorn. Gracie Miller back to serve for Manchester. At least in your serving for Rochester. Alexis Cherit serving for the Squires.
to serve for the Lady Zebras, Jenna Seifer. Serving for Manchester, Marissa Stroud. <laughs> Serving for Rochester, Ryland Strasser. Sophia Evans serving for the Squires. McKenna McKee serving for the Zebras. <laughs> Sophie Cumberland serving for the Squires.
Serving for the Lady Seamers, Amara Waringa. Ella Pinky serving for Manchester. <laughs> Manchester wins the first set, 25-14. Sophia Evans is serving for Manchester. Serving for Rochester, McKenna McKee. Sophie Cumberland serving.
serving for Rochester, Jenna Cypher. Serving for Manchester, Marissa Stroud. Kyra Dorn serving for the Zebras. Elise Henyer serving for Rochester. Serving for Manchester, Hayden Lordy.
Back to serve for Rochester, Maddie Malone. Finley Espeset serving for Manchester. Ryland Strasser serving for the Zebras. Sophia Evans is serving for the Squires. Rochester. McKenna McKee back to serve for the Zebras. <laughs> Serving for Manchester, Sophie Cumberland.
Manchester wins the second set, 25-10. Wins the match, 25-14, 25-10. And good evening, welcome again to Rochester High School for this TRC showdown between the Manchester Lady Squires and your Rochester Lady Zebras. At this time, let's meet the non-starters for Manchester. Number one, Sophia Evans. Number nine, Ella Peaty. Number 12, Briley Inyert. Number 15, Maya Metzger. Number 16, Lacey Trump. Number 17, Gracie Miller. Number 18, Marissa Stroud. And number 26, Sophie Cumberland. And now the starters. Number three, Myla Crocher. Number four, Elizabeth Renz. Number seven, Lauren Reichenbach. Number eight, Hadley West. Number 10, Marley Bellinger. Number 11, Peyton Green. And number 13, Ava Blegger. Manchester is coached by Adam Marlett. Before we get to the Rochester starters, let's meet tonight's ball girl. Our ball girl tonight is Madison Miller. Madison is the daughter of Greg and Katie Miller. Madison is a third grader at Willow Elementary School. Madison enjoys volleyball, softball is swimming, and Madison's, of course, favorite food is sweet corn. Ladies and gentlemen, our ball, ball girl, Madison Miller. And now, let's meet the Rochester starters, the first and odd starters. Number two, Kyra Dorn. Number eight, Ella Hank. Number 11, Riley Strasser. And number 21, Amara Moringa. And number nine, McKenna McKee. And now the starters, Warwick Zero, a 5 3 sophomore, London Hong Kong. A 5 3 senior, number three, Riley Clevenger. A 5 5 senior, number 10, Darren Strasser. A 5 6 sophomore, number 12, Aubrey Wilson. A six foot junior, number 14, Avery Montana. A five five senior, number 17, Mia Hadashev. And a five ten senior, number 24, Aubrey Bollinger. Rochester is coached by Linda Linnea Strasser, assisted by Stacey Wilson, Rebecca Bollinger, Chase Brown, Holly Clevenger, and Tracy Hightower. Tonight's officials, Shirley Musselman, 
and Ryan Bow. All right, starters are in, and we are ready to go here with the Squires and the Zebras. Val, you missed my pregame. I mean, it was a brilliant pregame. You, you don't have to go back and listen to it. It you, was the best I've ever done. You didn't need my help. I well, I got through it pretty well. I, the one thing I noticed, you know, looking at the uh, stats on Max Preps, this is a really good Manchester team. Yeah, and they are coming in on an eight-game win streak. Thirteen so. and two. And if you look at kind of breakdown, kind of by grade level, they get a lot of production from their junior class. So this is going to be a good team again next year. We already know. Them. And then you look at Renz. Elizabeth Renz is just a big-time hitter, but it's it's not just her. And they get really good work from the back row from players like Crozier and um, and Bellinger. And then for Rochester, coming off a 1-3 and three day at the Harrison Invite, but really it was competitive. You know, lost a 27-29 set to Pioneer. Mm. And, boy, don't we remember how that was when the Lady Panthers were here. Yeah. Um, and did get a nice win against Covenant Christian and took um, Harrison to three sets. So... I don't know if they necessarily played poorly. It's just they just ran, and again, that's just a really tough tournament. Yeah. So, again, let's see how this battle-hardened Lady Zebra team who had to go to Harrison and who had to face Southwood last Thursday, let's see how they respond tonight. You, know, you look at Manchester, they have two losses. One of them was to a sectional opponent, Oak Hill. Yeah. So, that I mean, we haven't even talked about them yet. And it looks like their program is on the upswing. Yeah, yeah very much so. And Which is an irony, right, because you don't want to be on the upswing playing volleyball. <laughs> First point in the match is a service error by a shot point for Manchester. So Coach Marlott was actually the uh, PA announcer for the football game last Friday, so I was sitting next to him, got a mm -hmm. lot of uh, good information on uh, uh, Squire Volleyball, and he's got some really high hopes for this program, not only this year but in the future. Uh, that was a really good dig by Bellinger, and they get the point. Two to nothing. Ream, an outstanding setter. They run a 5-1. Tip and put down by Dara Strasser. The Zebras are going to need a lot of that. They're just going to have to find those openings. They, they did it a couple times against Southwood, but, boy, the, you know, we saw against that, that Knights team, they were just so good about covering the floor. We'll see how the Squires are here tonight. Wilson. Bellinger to Ream. Big block. Lock back down. I think that was, that was Aubrey. That was Audrey. That was Audrey. Audrey and Hake. With help from Hake, yeah. Yeah, Audrey and Hake. Good serve by Wilson. Rends from not really close to the net as she would like. Another tip and put down by Bollinger. 3-2 Rochester. Yeah, another good play there by the senior as the block was set up there. She just tips it over the top and found that spot right there in front of the uh, defense. Wilson, and by West. Great Ooh. set by <laughs> Ream, and she set up Felger. Yeah, nothing the Zebras are going to do about that one. That cross quarter with that much velocity on it, that's a, that's a hard one to defend. You know, Val, you brought up the uh, Pioneer Panthers. They've got a big conference matchup. Oh, that dances on the tape and falls back on Manchester's side. Pioneer's got a big Hoosier North Conference matchup tonight with the uh, Culver Cavaliers down at uh, Pioneer. So we'll update you if we get any updates on that one. So that's a big one there in the h -NAC. Yep. Culver coming in off of a big win over the weekend at the uh, Triton Invite. Yeah, cast in at Oregon Davis tonight, by the way. Great and dig. Oh, no, they're going to get it over on the overpass. That was a great dig there by Dara Strasser, but uh, the Zebra's not able to get that one as that overpass comes back really quick. Reem, one of those aforementioned juniors that we talked about. Oh, great dig by Hadishal as that serve actually tipped off the tape. And point for Rochester. Not violation. Manchester. 
Yeah, playing Manchester. Yeah. Five four Manchester. Ream. Oh, wow, Strasser and Hodges will collide with each other, but Strasser gets there. Nice attack by Hunter. And into the net from the back row goes Bellinger, 5 all. Braylon Hunter had a very good Harrison tournament. Uh, led them in kills, I think, in one of those matches. Service error by Bollinger gives Manchester a 6-5 lead. I'm curious to see how Braylon does tonight. Out of shelter, Wilson. And Hunter goes long. 7-5, Manchester. Pass by Hadeshel to Wilson. Hake. No. 8-5, Manchester. I don't think that was blocked. I think that was no. just... Top of the net. In the net. Good serve by Felger. Wilson. Hake. Oof. Miss hit, but she's yeah. able to get it across. Rolled it over. Nice dig by Hadeshel. Hunter. Blocked back. Uh, but Strasser couldn't put it over. I know what Darrow was trying to do there, but I think you need to just take your time and go ahead and uh, get one more hit there and, and set that one up. And the Zebras are going to take their uh, first time out here in set number one. So we'll take a break with them and be right back here on RTC TV4. All right, back here out of the timeout. Manchester has opened up a 9-5 advantage here over the Zebras. Nice dig by Ream, but now they're a little bit out of system. Wilson to Hake, and she put it down. Diving effort made by Maya Metzger, but a really nice attack there, well placed by Ella Hake. Yeah, if they can get that out of Ella, that's going to go well with what they get from Aubrey, and uh, that's going to really help the Zebras out up front. Hong Kong to serve at 6 9. Nice serve. Bellinger, Ream, and the kill by Reichenbach. 10-6. Elizabeth Rins re-enters the Manchester lineup. Serving for Manchester. I don't. I think that was going in. I know Dara touched it, but I think that was going in anyway. Crozier off the net. And it's a point for another, Rochester. Another service error for uh, Manchester. That's a couple already here mm -hmm. in the first set. Braylon Hunter serving. Metzger, how to shell. Wilson, the Strasser who tips. She went a little tight, so she just made sure she got it over. And Renz with a whiff. That was a nice serve there on that last one from uh, Hunter. Let's see if she can do that again. Metzger, Ream, Renz. Off the block and down. 11 8. Hadley West, Sermon. And that is going to be a point for Rochester. Net violation, I believe, on. Is that Renz? Regardless, that was a pretty obvious one. Yeah. I mean, it is now 11. Yeah, Nine, Manchester, and Hadeshall will serve. So, Manchester, back to the top of the service order. West Ream. Oh, there's Locked another by big Bollinger. block. Bollinger with the block. Got that one with the left hand there. Sixteen for Manchester's Lacey Trump. She's a freshman now in there. How to show? Ream tight and knocked <laughs> back by. That's bowling her again. Bowling her, yeah. Boy, she's having a whale of a first set here. Back even at eleven are the zebras. Yeah, Ream was not going to get, not going to win that joust. 
11 all. Uh, How to shell. West, it's tight. Bollinger Ooh. wins another joust. Two overpasses there by Manchester and Bollinger just dominating early on uh, that play. So Coach Marlant's going to use a timeout. Nope, we continue on. How to shell. Better pass here. Off the block, but the Zebra's into the net. Who was that on? Was that on Wilson? I think so. Bellinger. Good serve. Over on two, oh. put down by Aubrey Wilson. Good play there by the setter, Aubrey Wilson, as she tips that one over with the left hand. A little left hand hook. Aubrey Wilson serving. She's really good at that, and that's not easy. West to Ream. Oof. And put away by Ava Felger. 13 all. When Felger gets set up with that, uh, that was just a really nice set. And when she gets set up well, there's not a lot that Rochester's going to do on that. She just hits the ball really good. Hake kept alive by Ream after it danced on the net. A dig and a point. Mm -hmm. Point for Manchester. That was... That was uh, Audrey, was, I believe they I thought, called. I thought it was on Hake. I think Brian had a 2-4. Okay. Hake with a little roll shot. And they work a give and go to Crozier. Yeah. And then Crozier with the kill on the overpass, 15-13 Manchester. It just shows you why the passing is so important. Uh, Manchester's had a couple of those as well. This makes it very difficult to handle. A little short set. Yeah. And Bollinger puts that one home. And of course, you, and you can run sets, and you can run set plays too if you pass well. Right. Ream. Oh. Aubrey almost able to keep that one alive, but that one was hit well again by Felger. Yeah, and I'm sure Aubrey appreciates it too when they pass well. That way she doesn't have to run, you know, three quarters away across the court to try and make the set. Ream. How to shell. Wilson. And the kill by Aubrey Bollinger. A beautiful set, back set there by Wilson gives uh, Audrey Bollinger the kill. Rochester hanging in here, back to within one, set number one. Bollinger. Felger. Over on one by Bollinger. Ooh, that was almost a double on that. And there's another overpass. Is that, is that Felger? Crozier? Felger put it home. Felger, yeah. Yeah. Strasser over on two by Wilson, but that leaves the back all open. Yeah, and I don't think that was. Taking advantage of that was Lauren Reichenbach. I don't think that was intentional over on two by Wilson. I think that was just a, a bad pass that she was trying to keep out of the net. Felger, Strasser, Hake, Montel, Crozier, Ooh. Ooh, almost a ding-dong. Actually, it was, a, it was really nice just to avoid a ding-dong. Yeah. Hunter, and down. Hunter gets one. Again, Crozier just got caught in no person's land. She set it and just went straight up in the air, and she had to get out of the way. Able to get it over, but ooh, that was in. That was a beauty. Oh, Honk if you just served an ace. Huh. On comp with a beauty. That one went right down on the line and stayed in inside the uh, in line. 17-18. 
Bellinger. Ream. Off the block and down. Myla Crozier. Elizabeth Reds re-enters the Manchester lineup. Myla Crozier serving for the squad. Got a good first set here going. Manchester 19 to the Rochester Zebra 17. Hadeshell, Wilson, Bellinger, Ream. Metzger, nice dig. Hadeshell. Montel, Bellinger. Montel. Avery Montel. Well, that, that was a heck of a dig by Hadeshell earlier in the point because that was kind of a well disguised shot by Metzger. But it didn't fool Hadeshell. Ream. Oh, it looked like her foot was over the line. No call. We play on. Strasser, Bellinger, Ream. And the kill by Elizabeth Renz. 20-18. Clevenger, Honkamp, Hadeshell in the back row. Montel, Wilson... And is that Strasser in the front row? West serving. Clevenger, Wilson, handcuffs Bellinger and down. You know, that's what the athleticism of Aubrey Wilson brings you. I mean, she has the ability to go up and hit a shot like that. How to shell. Bellinger, Ream. Nice dig. How to shell. Bollinger. Back in the, put in the back corner, and it's 20 all. I still don't get that one where you come from clear over here on the, the far side and you swing your arm over your head, and that's not a lift. It's Renz off the block, slowed down. Yeah. And point for Manchester. Uh, Aubrey got into the net there and unable to uh, stop her momentum and went over the line. Bellinger. Jump serve. Back middle. Clevenger. And attacking is Strasser. Renz into the net. Renz had to reach, reach a little bit behind her head there. That wasn't an easy shot. And yeah. She didn't get a great set. Kind of threw off her timing there a little bit, and it's 21 all here. Wilson, Bellinger, Renz, Strasser. Oh, well, the net's shaking. Point yeah. Rochester. And the Zebras yeah. take a lead, and the uh, Squires now want to take a timeout. So we'll be right back here on RTC TV4. Welcome back here as Rochester forces the Squires to take a timeout, opening up a lead now as they have battled all the way back and lead 22-21 here in set number one. There have been very few service errors in this set, but there have been very few aces also. It's just been a pretty cleanly played match so far. Yeah. Wilson sends one deep. West gets to it. Renz. How to shell. Can they play it off the net? No. And they did drive Manchester back a little bit on that one, but uh, still able to get off a good shot was Renz. And yeah. Maybe I need to create another stat. Wasted, wasted good serve. Yeah. You're going to be doing nothing but <laughs> keeping your own stats here yeah. before we're done. Bollinger, that's free balled over. Bollinger, covered in the back by West. Crozier, Clevenger to Wilson. Strasser. Point Rochester. Net violation, was that on, was that on uh, Ream, I believe. So the Zebras uh, did not waste a free ball. Yeah. Strasser serving. Ream. Felger. Oh, good dig. Great dig by Wilson. Free ball over by Strasser. And that is going to be a point for Rochester. That was a double on Ream. 
And this, the Squires get a WFB. Uh, yeah. And it sets up a uh, set point here for Rochester. Rochester has not had any WFBs this set. Ream. Crozier kept up by Hake. A good attack. And it's going to be a point for Rochester. I think that was Hunter put it over, and Manchester couldn't handle it. And Rochester wins the first set, 25-22. What a great job by Haight keeping that one alive. And, yeah, uh, that wow. was a fantastic play by Ella. She played great that set. Yeah, she did. It looked like uh, Manchester was going to run away with it, but uh, Rochester showing some grit and able to battle back and win 25-22 in set number one. We'll take a break and get ready for set number two coming up here next. Welcome back as we move into set number two here. The Zebras take set number one, 25-22. Val. Aubrey and Audrey doing what Aubrey and Audrey do in that first set. But Ella Hake, very impressive first set for Ella. Ella Hake had a big contribution. Hunter had a couple big swings. Yeah. yeah. And Logan Honkamp had a big ace in a set where really nobody was doing damage on the other team's uh, passing. But Honkamp had a big ace. We're underway in set two. The tech and put down by Wren. So a good start for Manchester. We have a boys' soccer final score. Argus has defeated LaVille 5 to nothing. We have a girls' soccer final score. Argus has defeated LaVille 3 to nothing. Okay. And an ace by Marley Bellinger, 2 to nothing. Must have been a really good second half for the boys because it was 0-0 at half. Yes. So 5-0, yes. oh, wow. Yeah. Or 5-0, as Andy would say. Bellinger. How to shell to Wilson. Ooh. Strasser with the tip and she put it down. <laughs> two to one. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't see Dara back there. I was like, who is she setting that ball to? <laughs> Here comes Dara just uh, jumping out from behind Aubrey. One serving two. Wilson. To West. Not a great pass. Renz. Clevenger to Wilson. Bollinger for some offense down the middle. Got it inside the right sideline, two all. Yeah, bad passing that time for Manchester. Ended up with a good pass for Rochester, and Audrey gets the kill. That was uh, some really good uh, work there by uh, Aubrey and Audrey again. Wilson. Bellinger. Tip try Felger, but covered by Hadeshell. Wilson to Strasser. Handled in the back row. Attack by Renz. A back row attack from Hadeshell. Ream. Felger. Put it down. Hadeshell, a couple nice digs there on that point, but uh, not able to get that final one there for Aubrey Wilson. That one was put down with some authority. That's Enyart serving for Manchester. And Hake with an attack goes into the net 4-2. Looks a little unsure of herself on that hit there and uh, just not able to get uh, what she needed to into that one. Out of shell, Wilson, Bollinger, and it lands on the other side of the net. Hit it through the block. I was trying to see which side of that net that came down on. That was a hard yeah. hit ball. Yeah, you, can, you can't be cute when somebody like Felger is at the net. Ream. And a tip by Felger. Five to three. Felger with a little off speed there, able to find the opening in the Rochester defense. That's the thing, you're used to the fastball, and when she hits the change up there, it's, uh, it's a hard one to defend. Ream with the service error. Back to serve just haven't been many service errors, but that one looked like it went right off her wrist almost. Yeah, it seemed like maybe there was two for Manchester in that first set. Not too yeah. bad. Bellinger. There's a free ball. Hake. Is that four? It's four. Boy, that looked like it was off the block, but uh, they call it uh, into the net, so the Squires get the point. And a wasted free ball. For Rochester, their first. Hunter with a tip try. Nice play by Metzger. 
trying to sort themselves out. And Manchester wins the point. Good dig there by Howdeshell, but uh, it goes into the net. Montel not able to dig that one out. 7-4, Felger serving. Hake with the pass. Howdeshell mm. into the net. Mia and uh, Ella were standing there, and I don't think they were really sure who was going to go after that yeah. one. And then finally Mia went ahead and hit it. And yeah, that, that might have been a ding-dong. Yeah. A less obvious ding-dong, but a ding-dong. Montel. Nice dig by Hunter. Wilson. Oh, great play. Felger. Crozier gets it over. Hadashell sends it back on two. Ream. Metzger. Hadashell to Wilson. Shoveled over by Hadashell. Oh. oh. And after all that, a bad set, and Reichenbach just couldn't quite get there. Squires with a wasted free ball and uh, gets the Zebras back to within three. Heck of a point, though. Yeah. Five serving eight now. Logan Honkamp behind the line. Ooh. Off the net. Another good serve from Honkamp. Yeah. Out. Out. Oh. It's in Ooh. by Reichenbach. Line judge called it in. No, it's called out. Oh, okay. So it was out. Hunter, Montel, Metzger, it goes long. That one definitely was out. Eight to seven. Big swing there was going to be 9-5, now 8-7. Honkamp with uh, some really good uh, stuff behind the service line. Oh, good dig, and they get oh. it across. Oh. oh, Montel not able to. Great dig there by uh, Mia Hadeshell, though. 9-7, now they get Renz back in the front row. I was talking with Tom Finical, Southwood coach, uh, Thursday night after the match. I asked him what he thought of the ladies' ease. He said, they'll be back. Don't worry. Yeah. Montel. He said that Linnea Strasser is a former Katie Felke player. She'll, she knows what has to be done, and she'll get it done. And of course, we talked about the number situation. Went to Manchester, was that? Not 10-8, but yeah. Anyway, Tom Finical very much op optimistic about Rochester's future. Yeah. Very complimentary of Linnea Strasser, which, is that a footfall? Ooh. I don't know. I didn't see it, but. Uh, I thought, yeah, I thought that was right. Yeah. Do you think it was right? I think so. Okay. Kind of had her toe turned there. It didn't look like it was over the line, but it might have been right on the edge. Westerim, Reichenbach. 11-9. And I asked him about what, what, he thought, what he thought of Tom Finical night, and he loved it. He <laughs> laughed. He goes, he goes, whenever we come to Rochester, it's always something, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Bollinger, Crozier, Bellinger, and they get it over. Well, that was hard off the ceiling, too, and then and a wasted free ball. Bollinger can't, uh, can't control that one. Normally, when it hits the ceiling that hard, it just comes right down on the floor, but right. the Squire is able to keep it up. Bellinger, how to shell. Wilson to Strasser from the opposite, and it floats long. 13-9. And Coach Strasser, probably if they can't get this one, I bet they're going to call a timeout. 13-9. Bellinger. An ace. Well, that can it all kind of movement on it. And the Zebras do take a timeout here. 14-9. 
favor of the Squires here in set number two. We'll be and right back, back here as the Zebras take their first timeout of the second set. Manchester's opened up a five-point advantage, 14 to nine, I believe, uh, six to one, maybe. Does that sound right? Was it was it eight eight? It was uh, nine eight. Nine eight, Manchester. Well, let's see if the uh, timeout here helps the uh, Zebras get back on track after winning set number one, 25-22. Find themselves in a five-point hole here in set number two. Bellinger. And into the net. Well, they iced the server there for the Squires. Memorial Waringa back into Rochester lineup. Aubrey Wilson serving. Amara Waringa, we see her for the first time today. That's what I was just thinking. She didn't uh, She didn't get in that first set. She did play, I think, both JV sets. Tight left-handed tip by Renz to keep the point alive. How to shove from the back. Bellinger to Ream. Felger. Well, a good job there. That wasn't the best pass to Ream. She was able to get a nice set, and Felger able to put that one home. Again, Renz leads the team in blocks. Er, Renz leads the team in kills for the season, but it's Felger has been their big hitter tonight. That one's long. Another service error for the Squires. By Enyart. Three or four this set. Strasser. Bellinger. Ream. Oh, uh, did that go back. down? Off the fingertip. It landed. I, I don't know that the line judge. I believe he said it landed long, but then did he, then he said make tip. a motion to say that it went off the last touch by Manchester? Yeah, I don't know if he knows exactly what happened, but the two. Uh, Point Rochester. 15-12. If not it was out, it would be Manchester's point. Yeah. I'm, they're they're re rediscussing I'm not it. sure I understood the, the mechanic of the official. Yeah. No. Point Manchester. Yeah. It was out. Point Manchester. He motioned point yeah. Rochester. So yeah. now I think we've got it figured out. So back up to five here for the Squires after that. Ream. How to shuttle Wilson. Bowling her down. Bowling her serving at 12 16. We're in set two. Rochester leads one set to none. They won the first set 25 22. And you're, and that is going to be a double. Yep. We haven't seen a ton of double hits called this year. Mm -mm. Tight. There's Montella got then dug out by Wiringa. Hunter off the block and down. 16-14. Yeah, maybe one or two a game. I mean, there's there's been games I can remember in the past where you'd get double after double after double, and yeah. it just hasn't been called that much. And I don't know if they're Dan the ace. Wow, that was a beaut. It's an odd ball, pronounced odd ball. It works, it works better when you write it because it sounds. I mean, I know what you're saying, but yeah. odd. You got to do it with a little Jersey accent there. Wow, Another five one. in a row. It's pronounced odd ball. <laughs> that forces a timeout. And it's for pronounced the timeout. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a run here. We'll take a uh, break and be back here in just a moment. Welcome back. Here's the Zebras have tied it at 16. Looked like Manchester was. Kind of finding some momentum there. Five straight points now for Rochester, and we are tied, and the Squires take a timeout. Yeah, really, and it, it, it looked like it was about one or two points from just really slipping away, but yeah. boy, some great serving and just movement. 
And that serve is long by Bollinger. Point Manchester, and they're up 17-16. Ava Felger serving for Manchester. Felger to serve into the net. 17 all. That's probably the fourth uh, service error in this set for the Squires. Pioneer takes set number one over Culver, 25-17 down in Royal Center. Honkamp. Nice dig by, or nice pass by Inyard. Wilson. Hunter. Ooh, block block. back. Felger. Excuse me, that was Reichenbach with the stuff. Elizabeth Rims comes back in for Manchester. I think what happened there is the timing for Rochester was a little bit off, and Hunter had to slow down her swing, and that allowed the block to get set up. Strasser. And another stuff. Reichenbach again. Yeah, if you can't get anything on it like Montel on that one, you got to at least get it over the top yeah. of them. You can't uh, get it right there at the tape. 1917, Crozier. Honkamp, Hunter, Hadeschel, Ream, Reichenbach, and a whistle and a point for Manchester. The Zebras got out of system there yeah. and just uh, not able to uh, ever get back into what they were trying to do. Net violation. I think it was on Montel. Hunter off the block. Reichenbach slowed that one down. Bad pass. Yeah. Able to get it over, though. Right, the first touch after the block was not good. And that was an excellent dig by Crozier. Renz, great dig. How to shell. Who's going to get over? Wilson, oh, there's just a. Wilson took a shot. She's able to get back yeah. up. Wilson, Hunter. Well, the whistle. Point Rochester. Boy, Aubrey Wilson on that one. I don't know how she got that ball back across, and then she, uh, I think, ran into somebody's knee, but able to get back up and keep going. And, and then made a good set after she got up off her feet. She did. Oh, good serve by the Hunter. Yeah, and then the kill by Renz. They go to their big gun. And Hong Kong not able to uh, do anything with that uh, hit there by Renz. Twenty-one, couple, eighteen. Next couple points are big here for uh, whoever's able to win them. Hong Kong, Wilson. Strasser off the block and down. Back to the top of the service order. And Mia Hadeschel. Mia. Little roll serve, but Bellinger handles it. Ream tries to go deep, oh. and she puts it down. Smart play by the junior setter, yeah, she, Peyton Ream. She saw the Zebras were really pushed up there on defense and able to uh, get that one deeper than the deepest man, to use a football term. Bellinger to serve at 22-19. Hong Kong, Wilson, Bollinger, it goes wide. 23-19 Manchester, timeout Rochester. Bellinger still serving. I think last time out of the timeout she hit it into the net, yeah. see what she can do here. Made sure it wasn't going to go into the net on that one. In play but out of system. Able to get it over his hot a shell and then tipped over. That was Ream again. Yeah, just a good awareness and seeing what the Rochester defense had left open in that back line. And they've done that twice now in this uh, last few points. Now the uh, Squires with set point here in set number two looking to even it up. Bellinger. The spinner. Ooh, what a play by Aubrey Wilson. And it lands. Yeah, Hit I don't them. know how she even got a, got a hand on that. It was like it was an overpass and somehow able to redirect it. And yeah, it was the, the first touch was, was headed backward. Then it hit the basket support. 
and deflected and finally landed. 20-24. Now, and an ace. Wilson the volleyball. Well, she's got a long row to hoe, but uh, that's a good sign there. Wilson got the ace and back to within three, but still set point here for the Squires. West, Ream. Oh, that was going to go out. On Crozier off the ceiling. Bellinger. Free ball over by West. Great set. Point Manchester on a net violation on Bollinger. And Manchester wins set two, 25-21. All right, good match going on here. One set each after two for the Squires and the Zebras. We'll take a break. Come back with set number three here in just a moment on RTC TV. Back here, Rochester High School moving into set number three. All even after two, Val, one set apiece as the Squires take set number two, 25 21. You know, Steve, I was watching IU volleyball highlights on YouTube because, I mean, who doesn't? <laughs> okay. And uh, Ella Borsama is getting quite a bit of playing time, the freshman for IU. Uh huh. From Churubusco. Yeah, we here saw her here region. last yeah, year. She was. Yeah. Six, six, what, six, three? How tall is she? Six, three, six? Uh, he, yeah, six, yeah. three, a good six, three. Yeah. It may be six, four, but yeah, yeah, we saw her here against uh, Pioneer in that uh, regional. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's not just, uh, obviously, you know, a fresh, freshman bigs, they usually just rotate in, they don't play any back row, but, right. but still, she's getting good PT for an IU team, and they were raving about their recruiting class, so yeah. Start off game three. Is that in? Yes, it is. By Renz. Down the line from the opposite. Boy, Culver, they won that Triton invite. They won game three against Triton 2018. Hmm. In, in, their, fourth, three, in yeah. their fourth match of the day. Wow. Remember, it's first to 15, win by two. They won 2018. Yeah. <laughs> Renz, slow down. Either Bowling, Bollinger or Wilson. Tipped by Bollinger, should have reached behind her. Good dig, Bellinger. And Renz goes long, one all. Clover went 4 0 on the day. They had to, it, I mean, Caston took him to a third set in the first match of the day. Hmm. And then another three setter. Then they beat John Glenn. Uh, that was like 25 22, 25 22. So that was pretty close. And then avenge that earlier loss to Triton. The stuff by Hake. So what a win. What a tournament title for Culver. And they had a tough loss to North Miami last Monday. Now they've won six in a row. Ream tries a dump. Hadeshell was there. Strasser with the attack. Renz. Felger. Again, Ream a junior, Felger a junior, Renz a junior. They've played. I'm sure they've played a ton of volleyball together. And just a lot of unspoken communication. And there's a kill by Hake, and Rochester leads 3-2. Boy, Hake is really active today. That's, yeah. She's playing really well. Crozier dug out of there. Braylon Hunter. And the kill by Felger. No, it's a net violation on Rochester. That was the call, so it is three all. How to shell. Wilson hate. Down the middle, and she puts it down. Well, that's really a good sign that you can get some offense out of the middle without Bollinger being in the middle. Make, make it a lot less predictable, and that is going to be a point for Rochester as over the line, or they call it a double. It was whatever you want to call it there. Ream. 
Two hits, Bollinger serve, good dig, and you're kept alive by Bollinger. Out of system, free ball over by Montel. And you're Tareem, and Felger goes long. Another WFB for the Squires. Ooh, that's long. Rolling your serve goes long. Point Manchester. It's six to four. If you're waste, or if you're waste, if you're watching at home and you don't know what a WFB is, that's a made-up uh, stat that we keep now that Val came up with, and it's a wasted free ball. So if you yeah. have a free ball come your way and you can't get the uh, point, that's uh, a wasted free ball. And that is an ACE by Felger. And another, another service winner, six all. Strasser to Wilson. And missing this Hunter. They go, trying to go down the middle. Felger. Hunter, Wilson, Montel into the net. 8-6 Manchester. Is that five in a row for the Squires? Yes. 6-3 was the uh, Zebras lead. Strasser to Wilson. Hottershell goes deep, but Felger is there able to cover that. Metzger goes over. Crozier off the net. How to shell there for the dig. Hake. Well placed shot. Felger was able to dig it, but she couldn't control it. Nice shot. Nice attack by Ella Hake. Well, Rochester needed to get that point there. They had uh, lost a three point lead and were in danger of going behind by three. Serve an event by Hong Kong, 9 7. Elizabeth Reds back in for Manchester. Crozier serving. Crozier to serve. How to Wilson. Hunter. The Hunter serving for Rochester. Hunter serving for Rochester. Eight serving nine. And the serve in a minute by Braylon Hunter, 10-8. That's two uh, straight service errors for the Zebras as they were trying to, you know, battle back here. Yeah. They need those points. Hadley West serving for the Lady Squires. And that's going to be an ace. You talked about Tom Finnickle night for the uh, student section on Thursday. As good as that was, Val, I have no idea what they're doing tonight. I'm way too old for whatever <laughs> they're doing. West serves one of the net 11 to 9. You need to have a show back to serve for Rochester. Bellinger, Ream. Attack by Reichenbach. Nice dig by Clevenger. Strasser attacks. Slow down. Dig by Honkamp. Wilson. Point for Manchester. Oh. Is it going to be a double? Yeah, mm. on Wilson. Wow. Can't remember the last time that she got called for a double. 12 9. How to shell. Wilson tips into the net. Try that lefty tip. Yeah. I guess it was, I guess they jinxed her. 13-9. Hong Kong, Wilson, and it goes down. So Wilson wins the joust at the net. Aubrey Wilson serving. Aubrey Wilson to serve at 
We're in set three, tied at a set apiece. Rochester one set one, Manchester one set two. Inyert, Felger, Clevenger, Wilson, Hake, roll, West, Ream, Renz with a lefty tip, it goes over. Shoveled over by Strasser. Felger. As for timeout Rochester, I was just going to say Linnea Strasser said that that was the best Southwood team she'd ever seen the other night. Oh, yeah. Not uh, not too far off base there on that one. We'll take a quick break here. Right All now. right, 14-10 here out of the Zebra timeout. Set number three. This is a big set, obviously, when it's 1-1. Hake, it sits on the net. Ream able to dig it out. Manchester having to play out a system. Crozier gets it over. And the kill by Aubrey Bollinger. Well done by Rochester. We talked about that Culver Pioneer match and what's going on in the Hoosier North. Of course, Tippecanoe Valley undefeated in the INSC and hosting LaVille about 12 miles from here. A tip try. Well done, Crozier. 15-11. Manchester back in the contest for Manchester. Peyton Ream serving. Ream to serve. Cavaliers have set point, trying to even it up at one apiece down in Royal Center. Wilson, Bollinger, long, How to shell, Wilson, Hake, Point Rochester. Net violation, I think that was called on Felger. 16-12. So Culver wins set number 225-19 at Pioneer, and it's one set apiece between the Cavaliers and the Panthers. Bollinger, well, that was a nice pass by Crozier. Wilson's got to get it over, but she does. Ream. Bellinger, Bollinger, Wilson. Oh. And hitting long was Braylon Hunter. 17-12. I like the aggressiveness there by Hunter, just not able to get that one down inbounds. But she went after it for sure. Braylon Hunter with a nice attack. Yeah. I don't know if that was her fastball or that was maybe kind of like 90% of her fastball, and I think it just kind of confused the Manchester block just a little bit. Let me put a little spin on it. Ream. Reichenbach. Dig by how to shell. Whoa. Hake, Hake took the set when Wilson was there. Crozier. Dig by Hunter. It does not hit the ceiling. Free ball over by Wilson. Bellinger. Ream. Reichenbach had to reach behind her. How to shell. Wilson, tip try. Hunter, Bellinger. Played by How to shell. I think that was going to go in. Montel, Crozier, Ream. Tries a dump on two. Hake was there. Punched over by Hake. Bellinger, out of system. Oh. And Hunter goes long on the attack after Metzger. Put it over. Just hit behind the ball, didn't get on top of it. And yeah, you know, when you do that, it's going to go way long on you. Good serve by there. Crozier, but what a play by Wilson. Wilson with the dump on two. He was back to within four. I don't know how you defend that when it's when Aubrey does that. It's just a tough play to defend. You just no, have to. She, if she gets it where she wants it, there's nothing you can do. I mean, mm -hmm. Bellinger to Ream. Renz. Kill, 
Lorenz with the kill, but that started with a really nice pass by Bellinger. 19-14. West to serve. Hong Kong. Bad pass, but Wilson keeps it going. Good coverage by Clevenger. Strasser. And that is that's four. 20 to 14 now. And Manchester just crowding the net on that point. West. Honkamp, Wilson. Flying in there is Montel. Very athletic play by Montel. Renz in by Elizabeth Renz. Montel had to hurdle a zebra, but uh, not able to get that point. So the uh, Rochester Zebras take their final timeout here in this set. We'll take one with them and be right back here in just a moment. Welcome back here as the Squires have opened up a seven-point advantage trying to uh, get out in front here after uh, losing set number one. They came back and won set number two trying to uh, get a two-set-to-one lead here. If they can close this one out, four points away are the Squires. And Rochester's not really not playing well, but Manchester is just doing everything to get the ball on the floor on the other side right now. Yeah. And Manchester's been pretty efficient hitting-wise. How to shell, Wilson. How to shell. Tries the middle, but West is there to cover. Renz. And that's just kind of the difference right now. You get a little tip shot from Rochester, and Renz, she puts it down with authority on the other side, and you got a, a lot better opportunity of getting the kill when you uh, hammer it home like that. Service error by West makes it 22-15. How to shell? Into the net. So when was the uh, Zebras traveling uh, to Lewis Cass on Friday, Val, for football? When was the last time Rochester played at Lewis Cass? I think it was 2011. Yeah. I'd have to double check. It was a sectional, sectional game. Sectional, yeah. yeah. In fact, I think that was Mark Miller's final game. It might have been. And that is going to be, is that a double? That's a double. 24-15. So set point here for the Squires. So even deeper dig here. When yeah. was the last regular season game at Lewis Cass? It was in the 90s. Yeah. Um, Mark Miller. Uh, and there is Bollinger. Puts it down. Mark Miller and Scott Mannering were very good friends. In fact, I think they were teammates in college at Manchester University back in the day. Okay. And so they, they scheduled a couple non-conference games against each other in the 90s. Okay. And I believe that was the last time. Renz with the kill. And Manchester beats Rochester 25-16 in set three. All right, the Squires take the two sets to one lead as we go into set number four here. Can the Zebras fourth a force a fifth set, or will we uh, have a uh, final here after set number four? We'll find out here when we come back. RTC team back here as we move into set number four. The Squires have uh, won the last two sets, about 25-21, 25-16. And the Zebra's trying to find uh, what they had there in that first set here to keep this one going. And again, I think they're just going to, again, Manchester's just not making many mistakes. Doing some quick research, and yep, the last time Manchester played at Lewis Cass was the 2011 sectional semifinals, and Lewis Cass won that one 28-7. to And of course, Lewis Cass handed Rochester that devastating loss in 2007. 28-14 after an undefeated Zebra regular season. Yeah. Strasser with the kill. Yep, Rochester went 9-0 in the regular season in 2007, and they got sent to Lewis Cass. And 
first game, huh? Yeah, and that was Kid O'Brien played for Lewis Cass. He went on and played for the Colts, I think. Oh, wow. I know, he pl- I, know, I know he played at Ball State. I don't know if he was on the Colts practice squad or actually played in the game, but he was he dominated that game. Wilson? Strasser can't put it down. Or was it a, was it a stuff? Yeah. Um, speaking of Ball State, did you see uh, Damon Hummel is in the running for the Ball State? Um, yeah, I saw all, that. I don't remember what the – All Century team or all something? All Century yeah. team? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, wow. Wilson, how to shell. Free ball over. How to shell runs it down. Bollinger, great dig by West, but couldn't put it down. 2 1 Rochester. When we talk about Damon all the time, you know, for what he did here with uh, wrestling, but, Mm -hmm. you know, you can't forget he was a darn good football player, too. Yeah, he was a (laughs) tremendous at everything. Yeah. Does he still hold this shot put record? I think so, yeah. yeah. I think one that threw something in the 160s. Hunter, just long, point Manchester. I, I remember trying to play Little League Baseball with Damon. It was uh, mm-hmm. it was kind of a joke. I mean, he was about a foot and a half taller than everybody, and he could bunt it and he'd go out of the <laughs> park. Two all. Green. Back set. And put down by Audrey Bollinger from that the opposite. One, did that one go through the net? I didn't even see it go over the tape. Three two. Bollinger. That was a nice play by Inyard. Bollinger, <laughs> great dig, but they can't keep it up. Out of system. Bollinger's like, no, we're not. She just yeah. said it to me. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's an example of senior leadership. Yeah. We're not out of system. <laughs> Another good pass. Ooh. At least to the tip by Felger. But that was a really good pass by Briley Enyart. And Felger with the tip. Good placement there by Felger. How to Sheldon Wilson tip try and put yeah. down. Is that Hunter? Yeah. Yeah. That was Braylon. Smart play. Clevenger with the serve. Enyart. Ream. And that goes long off the hand of Reichenbach. 6-3 Rochester. Ream to Reichenbach. Oh, how to shell what gets a play. it. Hunter tries the middle. Enyard covers. Crozier, she was taking a step back, so she just makes the safe play. Montel, Ream out of system. Clevenger, Wilson, Hunter, great dig by Enyard. Free ball over by Crozier. And the stuff, that was Reichenbach. Oh, I give me a how to show a lot of credit, though, on that. Uh, going away from her body, and, you know, away from the net, able to get it across her body and actually made a really nice pass out of that. Yeah. The Inyert had a great, uh, a great dig on the other side as well. So Service error by Crozier. Oh, not over the line there. Mm-hmm. Ream is not over the line. They s- lefty tip by Montel had a lot of spin on it, but Metzger was able to handle it. Hunter, Wilson, Strasser steps into one. Dug out of the back by Crozier. Metzger mm-hmm. off the block and down, 7-5. to five. That was almost one that would have been better off if Montel hadn't got a hand on it because uh, Wilson was set up there with the dig. But 
I don't think as a blocker you're ever going to let one go purposely. West with a serve. Nice pass by Clevenger after a tough serve. A left-handed slap at it by Hong Kong, but that leaves the back open, and that was Ream. That was Ream, right? Yeah. Well, Manchester just really able to take advantage of uh, those opportunities they have when the Zebras are pushed up, and they've done that three or four times where they've dropped it down in behind the defense. Yeah, kudos to their court awareness. Strasser mm. goes long. Seven all. Need a nice refreshing soda because it's seven up right here. Oh, what a play by Wilson after that! The, the pass hit the backboard or the bottom of the basket stanchion, and Wilson played it. And, <laughs> and <laughs> Wilson, oh my gosh. Just yeah. threw Montel out of the yeah. way there. <laughs> to try to get to that, but yeah. uh, point Manchester, and it's now 8-7, four straight points. West still serving. Clevenger, Wilson. Nice dig, Bellin. And how to shell. Well, they block Strasser, and then how to shell puts one into the net. Five straight points for Manchester. You don't see how to shell miss that very often. She's really good at that back row attack. Yeah, and but, that, but that was good by Man Manchester. I mean, that was a really good set by Aubrey Wilson, but they were there. Dump try. Reichenbach. Renz. Strasser. Oh, wow. The tip. Almost kept that alive. Good try there by West. Wilson had a, had the right idea, but she just wasn't able to get enough depth on that there, and they were able to cover that in the front row on that uh, when she tried to go in two. Montel. Renz. Oof. And the kill. So you say Renz leads them in uh, kills? Yep. Yeah, I can see why. <laughs> Man, just a junior, too. You, you talked about that. Wow. What a junior class this team has. Bellinger Wilson into the middle, covered by West. Green. Renz off the block and down. I think Audrey Bollinger was a little surprised she didn't block that. Out of shell, Wilson. Bollinger. Black back. Excellent play, Felger. 12 8. It is an 8 1 run We're in, that Manchester's on. We're ringing Oof. in for Strasser. Bellinger. Honkamp. Wilson. Bollinger out. Stuffed. Oh, they're saying that Rochester was... touched it off of the block. I didn't I didn't see it. Did you see anybody touch it after the block? No. Well, I'm not going to win that argument, unfortunately, there. I did not. Uh, I mean, it was pretty sharply hit out of bounds, so I don't know how any Rochester player could really even have got it, but mm. Brian Bow was right there, so he made the call. Beautiful roll shot by Renz, 14 to 8. Well, this has just been an impressive 10 to 1 run when Rochester got off to a great start this set. Hong Kong. Wieringa. Renz. And she goes long with it. I don't think Pioneer was too happy about losing that second set. They take set number 325 11. So they lead two sets to one down at the Royal Center. Whoa, Renz went down. She's got a smile on her face, though. Bollinger, Renz able to cover. Ream, she'll just dump it, but 
Hadeshell to Wilson. Yep, not a great pass there from Hadeshell. And didn't go very good there after that. If you want to watch that Pioneer Culver match after we're done, it's uh, on RTC4.com. You can check that out uh, going on live down there. So if you want to fire up two TVs at home, you can do that. And you're serving at 15-9. How to shell to Wilson. Hake off the block. West to a knee. Attacked by Felger. Point Manchester, 16 to nine. Timeout Rochester. Timeout Rochester. The Zebras take their first timeout here in set number four. So we'll be back here in just a moment. Welcome back here as the Zebras take their first timeout here in set number four. The Squires looking pretty good, Val. They're leading two sets to one and 16-9 here in the fourth set. Of course, these two teams are in the same sectional. Um, Two other teams who are also in the sectional are playing at each other tonight. And Eastern leads Wabash two sets to none, 26-24 in the first and 25-23 in the second. Wow. So, and by the so way, congratulations to Coach Katie Cromer. I think she won her 300th career match the other day. What a great job she's done with Wabash Volleyball. Great defense on the a really well-placed tip by Bollinger. And then Rochester makes the mistake. Point Manchester 17-9. And the ball just does not hit the floor very often. Wieringa off the block. Crozier, Point Manchester. Net violation on, who was that? I guess I Bollinger, I think. Maybe Bollinger, yeah, or Wieringa. Wilson to Hake. Point Rochester. I think that I think it deflected off a of Manchester player and then hit the antenna. I think so, yeah, because he called it out. So that the only way it could have went out yeah. was if it hit, it hit the antenna. It's going to take a big run here for Rochester to stay in this match. Strasser serving at 10-18. Crozier the tip. Covered by Hunter. Hake. Bellinger, West, Bellinger into the net, 18-11. That could be a wasted free ball there for the Squires. I don't know if that tip across is considered a free ball. Uh, no. Not really. Point Manchester. Maya Manchester back in contest to Manchester. Peyton Reed is serving for the Squires. Ream serving in 19-11. Wilson Boy. with a nice play out of system to give Hake a chance to get it over the net. How to shell. Free ball over by Hake. Uh -huh, Squires Crozier. not gonna, not gonna waste that free ball. I think Crozier took a little bit off that. That was like kind of a, like a 90% of her best. All right. A 90% of her fastball. Just made sure she got it in that corner. They see the floor well. How to shell. Wilson. Bollinger. Point for Rochester. I don't know how many people are watching in North Manchester. Just want to give get well wishes to Wes Moore, their quarterback who got hurt last Friday. Hopefully he'll he's doing better. Yeah. Manchester travels to Northfield on Friday. Of course they were down to their third string quarterback most of the second half against the Zebras. Wilson the Hunter and the kill. I thought their uh, third string guy though was not a bad option. Yeah, Dallas Martin. Yeah. I mean he's obviously got to work on his pitch a little bit, but uh, yeah, he's yeah. just a little a little raw up there. Yeah. But he's yeah. a talented athlete. Yeah, six five and can yeah. run. Felger, oh. great dig. Wilson, My. and the kill from the back wow. row by Bowlinger. Montel will set when that set that one up for the Zebras as uh, Wilson did a nice job of keeping that one alive. Fourteen twenty. 
An ace. An odd ball. Ace. Zebras trying to battle back here within five, 20 to 15. Felger, Bollinger, ooh, nice play by Montel, Ream, Crozier, and she puts it down. I wasn't sure if Bollinger tried that two-hand tip from the back row. She's going to be able to get enough juice on it, but she did, got it across. But Manchester gets the point back up to a six-point advantage. Off the tape. Ace. There's nothing you can do when that hits off the tape and drops like that. Timeout Rochester. Belger with the ace. Timeout Rochester. They're out of timeouts. All right, we'll be right back here in just a moment on RTC TV4. Looking back here, the Zebras had clawed back to within four or five there, Val. Was it 1915 or 2015 when they got there? 2015, and going from 2011 to 2015. Yeah. Manchester so. with two straight points to get it back to 22-15. Yeah. Tough spot here. They got to get 10 before the uh, Squires can get, get three if they want to keep this one going. Yeah. Ava Felger serving. Wilson, Hunter. Great play by Ream over on two. Just a great play by Metzger to get it over. I don't think she intended to get over. Metzger with a roll shot. How to shell. Wilson, Hake, roll shot. Ream. Man. Oh, they're just doing everything to keep the ball off the floor. Montel, Dig, Felger, Ream. And she gets called for a double. Huh. Well, <laughs> we talked about it early in this match about how we hadn't had a lot of double hits called, and yeah. I bet we've had five of them called here tonight. Yeah. Tipped over, touching it on one was Wilson. And a great play by Hadeshaw with a kill from the back row, 22-17. Good job there by Mia. She's, you know, kind of what Manchester had done there a little bit. Found the uh, defense yeah. was pushed up and able to push it behind them. Clevenger. Can they play it off the net? No, a service winner for Riley Clevenger. The attack by Reichenbach, but Rochester handles it. Yeah. And then the whistle blows. And it's going. Not yeah. able to stay out of there. The pass was just too tight to the net, and Aubrey not able to uh, get that set. 23-18 now. Mila Crozier serving for Manchester. Hunter. Good dig. That, that was Crozier. Metzger, how to shell. Oh, oh, that was going to go out, but Crozier played it. Renz, Strasser, Hunter, wide. Point for Manchester, 24-18. Match point here for uh, the Squires. They just make you make one more extra shot. Mm -hmm. One extra shot. Montel. Off Reichenbach and down. Rochester staves off the first match point. Only well, needs seven more, right? Crozier. Metzger. Great dig by Hadeschel. Wieringa to Bellinger. Ream. Reichenbach. Over on one by Hunter. Played by Renz. Ream. Back to Renz. Off the block and down. And the Manchester Lady Squires' tremendous season continues. They stay undefeated in TRC play as they win this match three sets to one. They win it 22-25, 25-21, 25-16, 25-19. It's 
Flyers go to 14 and two on the season, 4 and 0, like Val said, in conference play for the Zebras. They fall to five and 11 and one and three in conference play.